guys i'm not a therapist i'm not a therapist of any kind but there are some things that uh, one can speak about even when they are not uh, professionals uh, these are things of life and that's why i say my channel is a channel of issues of life there are some things i can talk about even when i'm not a professional and these are things of life guys when i talk about this i'm referring to the video that i did uh, lastly last few days it was a video about an ex and a secret admirer meeting up at the girl's place and it was a party but guys uh, there uh, happened to be issues there issues that have spilled over guys and when I got to know about it I decided to continue and uh, still talk about this topic so that I can help somebody out there guys it's very important I decided I, this is not a topic to just abandon there because what I did is I told you about the ex who knew that the, the, the ex girlfriend had a party a birthday party obviously when you are lovers you know your girlfriend's uh, birthday party and you know his party so he knew that this girlfriend was having a birthday party he wasn't invited and this girl was comfortable with the girls you see this girl was, was very comfortable with her girlfriends because she was doing the birthday party herself uh celebrating with her girlfriends and uh, unfortunately the ex thought that he could check on the girl the ex the ex-boyfriend decided to come and check on the ex-girlfriend in the house and uh, on getting there guys the secret admirer had just also arrived this girl knew there was a guy who eyes her but did not know that this girl is this serious so this girl decided to ca this guy decided to come and and surprise the girl the 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 the, 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 the girl that he admires and uh, though this girl is not uh, is not uh, ignorant to the fact that uh, this man has been eyeing 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 her, little did she know that this man would come and uh, surprise her on her birthday. So guys, the two met, and there was like a big fight. It was a big fight. When I was doing the video, I was trying to be calm and I said they just met and my gosh, I said, oh my friend, things happened. But actual things happened because when a man hits another and there uh, uh, erupts a fight, a very big fight, it was not a small thing. All the girls that were invited had to scramble and run for their lives, lives because uh, the man was throwing everything in the house, the ex. And the, their secret admirer was like, but you two are done why wouldn't i try my luck so guys 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 uh -huh. there was that commotion which ended up to be very ugly and uh, hey guys let me tell you this story because you'll be very surprised let me tell you this. guys uh this issue has to be discussed so uh what happened is uh, a story that i'm gonna tell you uh the guy who was uh, the ex uh hit uh, the admirer very very badly and uh, he says that uh, he was cut but the guy insists that he did not have a knife neither did he have a sharp object but uh, the admirer says the ex had carried a knife to come and attack him <laughs> oh my god I've seen lipstick on my teeth as usual it happens to me all the time so guys, the case went to the police station. Unfortunately, the guy who was hurt, who is now the admirer, has developed some complications. This is because he had issues with his health. It's not because of the cut, but because he had issues there before, high blood pressure. The guy has now been admitted in hospital with very, very serious hypertensive issues. And now, this has uh been related to the incident that took place and the beating he got from the ex so now what is happening is that the girl the girlfriend who was supposed to the, the girl who was supposed to enjoy her girl, her, her party uh, with her besties as you saw in the previous videos uh, enjoying very carefree without issues without involving anybody has had to go and write a statement she has been asked to go and write a, a, a statement at the police station and say 
where and where, where who he had invited she had invited and what made them fight now the other one is uh, in hospital so she's also required to go and check out on the one who is sick because of her issue and admitted in hospital so guys this now has become an issue because uh, actually the one who hurt the other i mean the ex is now arrested is in the police custody first of all because of fighting and causing bodily harm i hear that is the charge her fight, fighting and causing bodily harm it is a, a, a case he has a case to answer oh my god do you know things can happen to you until you ask yourself where is this coming from guys <laughs> this is not a laughing matter because sometimes these things just follow you this guy you parted way with ways with him you gave him the authority and and the the you you decided to go your separate ways he gets to know that you have a birthday and he get crashes then he fights a secret admirer whom you also did not invite and he starts fighting him and one thing leads to another one person is badly hurt and in, is in hospital the other one is in police custody guys do you know you are now left in the middle because this girl is visiting the police station at the same time visiting the the hospital to go and see the admitted guy oh my god it is very ugly and uh, i want to say something that relationships uh, should be well defined uh, when you have a friend that you call a boyfriend or a lover you people should sit and lay your your uh, issues uh, on the table so that you get to know uh, whether this person is a real boyfriend or is, is, is just an admirer. And also, if you part ways with somebody, you know, you've been together for three years, yes, but you have decided to call it quits. I think uh, both parties should agree to just move on. Do not be sneaking into somebody's parties because they used to be your, your, your friends or your lovers uh, for three years. Do not think that because you, you are mentioning a period of time like three years that everyone is going to understand that this is a very long time for her to just decide to call other men in her house. Ah, uh, no, how can she do that? Because this is what the guy was saying. How can she do that? I've been the lover for three years. And the girl was asking him, didn't we part ways? Even if, had we even been together for 10 years and we decide to part ways, that would be that. Why are you again singing a song of uh, us being together for three years? We parted ways. It's been seven months since we parted ways. There must be somebody who was also admiring me secretly, waiting to, 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 to cast his shots, like Marwa says. <laughs> so this girl is my friend, and she's in a very big shit. She doesn't know how to go about it. She's very scared. She's saying she doesn't even want a love affair after this one. And I'm telling her life has to continue. You are a young girl and you have to get somebody serious and get to settle with them and or get to, to know each other with them. Uh, and it makes her scared. So these are the issues that uh, make people say, I don't want relationships. I better be alone because Three years is also a lot of time. Somebody wasted my three years. I was hoping we would settle together. But now he has come and uh, uh, parted ways with me in a very bad way. Because now you see, this lady will never want anything to do with, his, with her ex. Be it what or what. Not even friendship. She will never want it. Because she has realized that this girl has issues. Uh, the, uh, I mean, she has realized that this man has got issues. So, she opts to be alone. And why should she be alone? Because she even sees like the secret admirer should also have stated his, uh, his, his uh, you know, his position when coming to her house. Unfortunately, as I said, the birthday party was in her house. When coming to her house, he should have stated his uh, position and say, okay, or maybe asked. Because the girl says these people have been friends, but they are not lovers. But this guy says, I've been admiring you for a very long time. And I was coming now to tell you that I, I, I am I'm throwing my shot. I want to know whether we can be lovers. And I, I decided to come and do it on your birthday. And here I am. I was not even given time to express myself by your ex. Oh my God, what a stupid case.
It is so stupid, yet it is hurting the, the, the girl who was supposed to. Celebrations, you are doing your birthday celebrations, you are celebrating your birthday, you wanted to have fun, and you wanted to enjoy with your friends your birthday, but it has ended up that these people have brought you sorrows. You are so sorrowful, you, you are not happy. So, so what is this? What is this, guys? Uh, we as friends also feel like it was a wasted opportunity because we had stayed you know these days birthdays are not being done for one day like I, I said in the previous video I was meant to understand that you take your girls and you say we are celebrating my birthday for a whole week let us have a staycation and now these girls that were invited had to have a staycation in that place for for a whole one week you see now you have gone to a place where scrambles have erupted you were invited you cannot even spend there yet you had invested in that stay you know you don't just uh, uh, storm somebody's house without paying some you know doing some shopping uh, doing some preparations which cost you money and now you had bought some drinks you had bought some things to, to go and celebrate with some you know you had spent so much gifts that were bought were scattered all over the, the, the house can you imagine? You buy gifts, a very expensive gift for your friend. And the minute you enter the house like this, you give it to your, to, before you even give it to your friend, as, um, a madman comes in, and uh, if I should say a madman in this case, starts throwing uh, everything uh, up and about, destroying even those that are breakable, got broken. Oh my God, it was such an ugly, an ugly scene. So why am I telling you this story? I'm telling you this story because every story that I tell has got a lesson to learn. We got to learn lessons one of the lessons that we got to learn from this story is that you have a life to live and that life is yours you have to take care of it you have to also um define define your status you have to stand firm and tell somebody okay we have parted ways never come to my house never come to my space and uh if you think that uh, uh this is my hair i got to make my hair today these are my hair piece, pieces. So uh, if you think that, uh, if you also sense that somebody is admiring you secretly and you get to know that it has gone beyond the admiration, I think as ladies now we are going to be uh, tackling the, 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 the bull by the head and by the horn and we, we tell him, state your status, tell us what you want. Tell me what you want. I've been seeing you eyeing me. Why are you coming to my house on a birthday? On my birthday, I had not invited you. Why are you coming? But you see now, you are friends with this person, so you cannot also attack him. Uh, giving him this kind of an address, is addressing him that way, is like you are attacking this person. So uh, what lessons should we learn from here? Go down in the comment section and tell me. If it were you in this kind of a situation, what would you do? I feel like there is something that you would do. I feel like uh, even birthday parties will not even uh, be adequate. But you see, this is a lady with a massive house. Yeah, her house is massive. Big enough to host 20 people. Why would you go and pay for an Airbnb when you have a, a, a house, a big house? And again, in, a, in, a, in an estate where, you know, uh, um, a nice estate, an expensive uh, locality. So you don't have to go to a, a, an Airbnb when you have a, a, a six-bedroomed house. You can host your friends there. They take sleepovers and you, you enjoy your party. You are comfortable. But this is not the case. This is not what happened. It was different, guys. It was a different case. And this lady is now feeling very, very bad. We as the invited guests are also feeling very, very bad because actually we had also left our homes to go and be with the with the girl for a whole one week but here we have to go to our homes again having said that you are leaving and having informed your people that you'll be going then you have to leave yeah you have to leave i didn't like that one bit i didn't like that and still i don't have a solution that's why you 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 tell a story but you don't know how to conclude the story because you still don't have a solution you don't know what to, to say Guys, what do you think you should do? One should do. Drop down in the comment section and, and tell us. Otherwise, the birthday party was spoiled. That's the bottom line. It was spoiled by two men who could not agree. One could not bow and exit. And the other one could also not bow and leave. <laughs> it's not a laughing matter, but some things make you laugh, guys. Sometimes you, you just feel like laughing. 
So this was just, I decided to continue this video, the previous video and tell you that uh, this is what happened. And yes, I did. I did, but even as I tell you this story, guys, are you seeing the way I'm, I'm even getting lost? I'm still thinking, you know, I'm thinking. And I'm just asking, if it were me, what would I have done? Oh my God. People cannot come and break my, 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 my mirror table. You know, she had a very expensive coffee table that is mirror, mirror, you know. It broke with the stools. Who is going to pay her? A very expensive one. Then the squambles went outside the compound and they broke the weed screen of her car. You know, as they were pushing one another, they broke the weed screen of her car that was just parked outside there. Then one of the guests, also who had a car, her car was scratched. You know, the commotion was so big. They were throwing up everything and they could not be contained. You know now, it was just the girls that were in that house. There were no men to, se no men to separate them. So, had there been men, maybe they would have uh, gone and, and held them by the hand and stopped the fight. But you girls, you know how we girls are. Everybody was running to, 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 to the corners and screaming and screaming. And you know, these are gated, uh, not gated, these are, uh, what do you call those uh, houses that have got their personal gates? I don't know. You, you, they are not the gated communities gates. No, it's, you are entering through your own compound and locking the gate. There is nobody who can even access that compound. So even as we screamed, guys, we screamed to, our, to the top of our voices. We did not get any help. They broke everything until one was defeated and lay flat on the ground. And then the other one was now requested by the girls to leave. That is now when we, we called the police. It was the police that came and rescued the situation. <laughs> Guys, when you see me tell this story and I'm, I'm looking in one spot like this and trying to think, it's because I'm imagining, had it been me, what would, would have happened? But still, I'm feeling the same thing because this is my friend. So guys, let us know how we are going to live in this life. Let us know how we are going to handle our, our love issues. Let us know how we are going to, you know, survive love affairs that go so. Yeah, we have to know how we are going to survive them. <laughs> guys, we saw horrors. Have you ever seen horrors? We saw horrors. I'm used to doing Ayamara videos, so I'm, I'm just wondering, are people not going to wonder, why is this girl now jumping into other... You know, I have to mention Ayamara at all times. And by the way, yesterday I realized that Ayamara um, received so many clothes, so many clothes from a, 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 a guy uh, who, who, who really gifted him so many, so many clothes in different in diff one style but different colors and i i'm just wondering surely isn't this didn't this girl guy spend a, a lot of money he said he bought them from a, an, a country near emire between uh, what's the name of the country but it is he bought them from abroad the, they are imported clothes he had gone there Katal, near Katal. It's a Katal. It's a near country. It's a country near Katal. <laughs> oh my God. Those people that are not traveled, maybe the country is not even near Katal, but he mentioned Katal and he said it is uh, in a, uh, uh, the name has, has disappeared from my mind. I'll let you know guys when I remember. So uh, he bought so many. Can you imagine? He knows the size of Marwa. And he said the reason why he bought those clothes is because people have been mocking Marwa, saying that he wears clothes that are not appropriate. And I've heard that, I've seen that in the, in the, in the media. I've seen that, people mocking Marwa, trying to say what kind of outfits are these that Marwa wears, and what kind of jackets is this, are these that he, he never changes. And this is a, a brand, Marwa's clothing. You know he had a clothing line. I don't know whether it still operates. And he, he took so many such that he has been wearing his brand all through. But I think eyes are tired of seeing Marwa wear those uh, clothes uh, from his brand. And it's like people really wanted to have, um, to see Marwa wearing something different. So this guy went and bought him a whole lot of clothes, just decided to change his wardrobe. I think it was just a decision that he made because you cannot buy somebody you can buy somebody one outfit or two sets, but you cannot buy somebody 10 sets 
this is like telling him change your wardrobe completely and uh, christmas tree was not uh, impressed because he said this is the marwa we know we know marwa with this kind of a clothing and uh, uh, look the one that he wears we don't want this marwa that you are bringing to us this marwa is not known to us we want the marwa that we know in those flowered clothes that he wears but this uh, marwa was like so impressed with the clothes and he didn't even want to listen to christmas trees and he said no 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 chris i have to wear these clothes this is now me in 2024 and uh, <laughs> as marwa was and uh, and and i was changing and undress i mean uh, changing into those new clothes he was really insisting that ro the girlfriend uh, should also wear one and i was wondering and this uh, clothes for men because uh, the shirt a man's shirt there is a way it fits there is a way it, it uh, the buttons are put there is a side that the buttons are put but it's like a row 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 the girlfriend to marwa is used to wearing marwa's shirts most of the time so marwa did not mind a row taking even uh, a pair or two and uh, wearing herself because i hear marwa was even saying when they they were checking on them in the bedroom together Ro had said, "Oh, this I will wear. Oh, this I like." And it's like she had already taken quite a few. So, but now when the the, the real presentation was being done, uh, Ro Ro did not want to wear those two sets, but wanted one black shirt that is long. You know, she likes long shirts on top of her um, outfits. So uh, I was talking about this guy who just decided to gift Marwa this much, and I'm looking at him as a person who, do you know, he has only one hundred and. Uh, 100 subscribers oh my god can you go to this guy and subscribe to his channel because this kind of a heart giving heart mm -mm. it is so it's so different it's it's so unique i've not known somebody who can give you and give you okay i found uh, daniel giving uh, so much to the nyabohanse boys so many cameras he gave out 11 cameras to the nyabohanse boys and uh, and girls and uh, Every, GoPros, GoPros guys, they were gifted 11 GoPro cameras and this was overwhelming because he also came with a, uh, um, these are the cameras for security, you know, and fixed them for Marwa. Other than giving the, the, the GoPros, he also had the, the security cameras also fixed in Marwa's house and it is him who did the fixing. So I don't want to say that it is only this guy who gifted the shirts to Marwa that has come in with gifts. I have also seen these gifts by Daniel from America and his wife, Mama Gifts. They gifted so many until Mama Gifts channel was opened and uh, you know, it has more than 10,000 subscribers right now. It's a miracle because really people really surprise us. So, I mean, uh, uh, subscribed to the to the mama to their channel mama gifts channel um gifts have come in in Nyabohanse, so many of them so so many of them but uh, now this makes me uh, think are you gonna visit Nyabohanse without a gift can you imagine this guy who brought in the the outfits do you know he waited for a whole seven days before seeing marwa is it seven days or 12 days without an i mean getting an, an opportunity to see marwa but he still was very patient and uh, until his video was now done you know marwa has to look for time to do your video and uh, he really waited now he's gonna be known in, in the world and uh, i i believe marwa subscribers because he said what he wants is marwa to uh, support him with um, subscribers and that is what he's gonna get that is what happens with marwa with marwa once he gets to, to tell his subscribers to come your, to your channel, they do come in floods. They do flood your, your channel and they, they do subscribe. So I am waiting to see how many he's going to get from now that he has been given a, a go ahead or a shout out. And guys, it gets me thinking, are you going to visit Marwa and with nothing? Are you going to visit him and with nothing? Do you think it's going to be a profit? Do you think it's going to look like... You know, you maybe have, have been planning this this visit and saying, okay, I'm going to visit Marwa the second week of the, the birthday month or the third week of the birthday month. But now that you are continuing to watch his videos, you are here wondering, now that I'm visiting, having seen those that have visited and seen how they have fared, what they went with, what am I going to go there with? So guys, you can see the magnitude of gifts. Did you also see the t-shirts? 
that were painted by the the VVT guy, the the jungle legacy VVT. You know, Marwa did not know that there is a, a they. There is a they there, the jungle legacy VVT. Uh, he brought in so many t-shirts, so so many t-shirts to uh, uh, Marwa, and he printed them. Uh, you know what they did is they went to the videos that Marwa has posted uh, when out there in the can in the world. And uh, like he, they choose a video like when he's in Mexico and he's with a certain uh, uh, icon or a certain person, and they take that picture and they print on that particular T-shirt. Then they take another one when he's in a different position, location, and they do the same. So guys, I wanna tell you that uh, the T-shirts that were printed there are not one print, but they are all in praise of Marwa, and Marwa had to sign them. Can you imagine with a a marker pen. <laughs> I wish, I wish he did it because you know this pen, the, the, when it it's washed twice or thrice, the, the, it starts fading. That that marking uh, signature will start fading off and it will not look very nice. I wish they signed it like somewhere on the side. You know, they would have done a small signature like on the side, but they signed. Um, uh, they signed on the on the front on the front just below the print but anyway t-shirts were distributed also to the vvip guests that were upstairs and uh, uh they were all marwa t-shirts so i was talking about i was thinking about visiting marwa and the gift you should carry guys you have to prepare now go with a reasonable gift because you, 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 you when you can't beat them join them if you can't beat them join them so you want to go visit Marwa? Go and visit with something tangible, guys. Something that is going to... You are going to have Marwa do a video for you. Go visit him with something. And that is tradition. In, in Africa, in Kenya, we have... When we go visiting, we go with gifts. So whatever gift you have decided to carry, 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 carry that gift and carry um, enough because it's not going to be a small gift. You have to give big. <laughs> I don't know uh, what you are thinking of carrying when going to Nyabuhansi. Maybe you can advise me because you know I'm also on my way there. And I'm wondering what I will go with. I don't know what I will carry. And uh, I want to say that I would, I, would, I would be grateful if you advised. Uh, what do you give somebody who has been gifted so much? What do you give somebody that has been gifted so much? You also don't want to go and gift small. This person has been gifted so much. So what do you give that person? Uh, we have to exchange minds here. You have to exchange ideas here. And uh, you have to tell me what can I gift Marwa. <laughs> and also you also have to think because I know many people will be visiting now. This is the second week of the party. Many people will be visiting and they, they, they want to carry something. What are you going to carry? Anyway, so guys... Uh, those are the two subjects that I wanted to to address here, and uh, uh, yes, I also want to address a small a, a small subject here. You know, sometimes you you, you do a corabo with somebody like uh, like when uh, fighting Ian, wa, wa, they were doing a a, a video uh, near the river, cooking fish and uh, ugali, and uh, I realized that fighting Ian had gone there with two packets of of unga. Uh, unga is that. Uh, Maize, maize, maize what? It's can corn flour that they u we used to make ugali in our country. Uh, and he was there with two packets, but he opened one and made a lot of ugali. Oh my God. You know, you have to pay 500 shillings to eat at Marwa's for lunch. And uh, he's offering breakfast and dinner. Do you think when you do, you, this video, this ugali is not just for video. You people have to sit and eat. So don't you think for a video maybe you should cook a small quantity or maybe cook a lot and you have many people to eat it. It's, this is a small thing. It's not even supposed to be discussed here. But this is food. Even the fish. Fish were very, very large. I wonder where Fighting Ian had, had gotten these very large two fish, fishes like that. They were very, very large. And I was like, I wish I was there. Do you know I would have eaten that ugali with that fish? Oh, my God. Do you know how delicious it can be? It, it can be, be very, very delicious. So I'm, I'm admiring everything at the Marwas, and I'm liking everything that is happening, even the, the collabs that they are giving each other. 
I'm liking the fact that uh, um, Kograt's mom has now a GoPro 11, and uh, now Irene Jeb has been gifted the GoPro 9 that Marwa wanted to gift the mom. But now that mom has the GoPro 11 uh, that he has been gifted by uh, another guest, um, Irene Jeb is going to, to receive or has received the GoPro 9 that Marwa would have given the mom. So all these things I'm following and I'm like, oh my God, things are happening in Yabuhansa. And I'm just, fee um, the only thing that is disappointing is this power, lack of power. But I thank God Maro has got the generator. I wonder how they survive in the night. I hope that the, the generator gives them the, 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 the power throughout the night. And uh, yes, oh my God, Nyabohansa stories from Africa. Nyabohansa stories from Africa. <laughs> Oh my God, the title of this video will be Stories from Africa because even that story that I, I, I featured first, the story of the fight, it is just it happened in Africa and it is a story, guys. Oh my God, stories from Africa are many. If we sat here to tell stories, we tell stories every but we want to tell good stories. We don't want to tell stories about fights and arrests and sicknesses. We want to tell good stories about Africa. So guys, you are welcome to subscribe to this channel. Hit on the notification bell, you get to know when I'm uploading and share, like, and comment. Give, give this video a thumbs up. And guys, mm -hmm. subscribe for those that have not subscribed. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.